Luton. Thank you very much indeed. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. That opening number was one we played here many times before called Luton Who. It was written by Chris Smith. Features a number of soloists. It started off young pianist, new to the band. Name is Matthew Regan. <laughs> Second you heard from somebody very old to the band, Andy Jones. Our very special guest on Bowtown, all the way from Croydon. You've seen him many times before, you've probably seen him many times again. Mr. Peter Long! From Birmingham, on Alto, you next heard from Chris Bowden. Um, next to him, from Bristol all the way today, doing summer season and holiday camp on clarinet, which is why he's not brought the clarinet today, Ben Waghorn! Next to him, from uh, Gerard's Cross, Ben Castle! And finally, studying at the Leeds College of Music, comes from Birmingham, once again, Alison Adams on tenor. And finally, on drums there at the end, from Solly Hull, Mr Christopher Dagley. We'll do now a piece which we haven't played here before, it's a very old standard tune, written by Duke Ellington, arranged by Alan Hare. This was originally a vocal backing, but it was in the wrong key for our singer, so we decided instead to turn it into a trumpet feature. Ladies and gentlemen, young um, soloist of the year, a year or two ago on the BBC, wasn't it? Something like that? No. Well, something like that. One of them, anyway. Very fine player indeed, anyway. He comes from Stockport, which is a very good place to come from, and his name is um, Neil Yates, and this one is entitled, I Got It Bad, and that ain't good.
Very much indeed there for um, nearly eights. I got it bad and I think good. Nearly eights. <laughs> Who says we never play anything you've ever heard before? Um, next one you certainly heard before because it was launched by us about two or three years ago. It was written for us by Mark Nightingale. The arrangement tune is by Cliff Hall. Tune entitled Hallmark. And we'd like to spotlight today the trombones of... Who's going to do it today? A couple of trombone players are going to play it. We shall see at the end who it has been. A big surprise. They can all do it, you see. What a wonderful thing is. Any one of the trombone players can do this. And uh, so they just decide among themselves whoever is unlucky has to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Hallmark.
Hallmark are actually indeed there for Hallmark and the two solos there. Another very special guest lives locally just across the road, very near him indeed, lives in Ickenham. And say hello please to Mark da Silva. And again from North London, from Muswell Hill on trombone, Malcolm Smith. Hallmark. Well, this is the day for doing a few new charts. We've been doing a lot of material lately, which we've done before. This is a new one we've never played before, written especially for, for us by somebody who's up, often up here. His name's Ken Woodman, you probably know him. Uh, he's not here today, but because um, he's playing a gig with Willie Garnet somewhere. But uh, I said we'd play it, and we're going to play it. It's a dedication to Sammy Nestico. This one is a very, very uh, nasty disease, particularly bad if you've got a parrot. It's called Nesticosis. There on that one, Ben Castle on Denner. And 
on trumpet, another very special guest. We've had the Brad Bradley and Elliot Mason, they're away on holiday. But another pair of brothers, we've got Mark Da Silva and his brother there, Simon Da Silva. And on drums, Chris Daniel. And um, because Pete Long has helped us out so much recently, we thought we'd present a set of parts to that one to him, because Pete runs a band uh, which is dedicated to the memory of Sammy Destico. He's not dead, but that's what makes it more interesting. Um, and this band is entitled uh, The Big Beer Band, banned from here, in fact, The Big Beer Band from Ryslin. And this is it. Um, Destico's is a special uh, present for Pete Long. Go on, Peter. Thank you. Right, um, we'd like to continue now by reading to the microphone. We'd like to do say, yeah, do say. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to bring to the microphone now a young lady who's never sung with a band before. She's going to sing a couple of songs off uh, Jackie's album. The first one Jackie wrote herself, it's called um, Blues to You Too, or We're History. Will you welcome, please, to sing that song arranged by Steve Hill, Miss... Jenny Howell.
next song is um, a song called That's That. It's arranged and written by Bill Ashton. Arranged by Mark Bassey. Arranged by Mark Bassey, sorry. <laughs> making her first appearance with the band, Miss Jenny Howe. <laughs> and uh, Miss Jenny Howe comes from Cork, and uh, even if the politicians have failed to reunite the United Kingdom, we managed to reunite them in Niger. Miss Jenny Howe from Cork. We're going to end this first set by playing a request requested by about five people in succession. They came up and said, can you play this one? It's one which we often play here, called Beyond the Hatfield Tunnel, dedicated to a few people who have to travel through the Hatfield Tunnel to come and see us every time we play here. And playing it on my clarinet, no less, a Selma Sterling, dating back to 1903. We welcome, please, Mr. Peter Long.
Long. Guitar there, Andy Jones, beyond the Hatfield Tunnel. Well, it's said of any great player that can pick up any, any instrument with any mouthpiece. I mean, Stan Getz apparently just pick up any old saxophone and make it sound like Stan Getz. And Pete Long managed to make every instrument sound like Pete Long. A true original of every instrument. Pete Long! And, um, first time that you've been played on clarinet, I think. We, um, it's... We're going to have a break now, for a 20 minute break. If you want to hear something in the second half that you know we play, probably we don't do Girl from Ipanema, I'm sorry, but um, we could do. Pete Long knows it, but we actually won't be doing it today. But we haven't got an arrangement of it, and uh, we wouldn't want to have something busked. However, happy birthday all the same. Um, if you want to hear something that we know we've recorded, do come and ask, and our records are at the back. If you haven't got them already to know what we've recorded, well then you can buy them and the next time you come, um, you will know what we've recorded. And also you can get copies of our magazine and put yourself on our mailing list and generally involve